everybody. This week we are doing um, halibut. Um, and the story behind this is that my daughter Erica went to a farmer's market and found some pickled um, celery. And she, yes, and show the celery. So she got the pickled celery and then asked me what I would do with it. And I said, well, I probably would make a little relish with it and put it on top of halibut. So guess who's making halibut this week? So for uh, my shippies, Jane and Sharice, yes, I'm making fish. <laughs> and, but it's because my daughter asked me to, okay? <laughs> so I just wanted to let you know what I'm putting. I'm going getting ready to season the fish. And this is the seasoning um, for the halibut. And these are the uh, ingredients that are in it. I put smoked paprika, garlic powder, chipotle chili, just a little bit of that um, for not a whole lot. Of, if you don't want a, more, if you want more heat, of course, put more. Um, dried thyme, dried oregano, granulated onion, and sea salt. So I mixed that all together, whisked it all in, whisked it all in this bowl, and now I'm just going to commence to uh, put it, uh, season the halibut with it. So I'm going to season this, um, and then I'm going to pan sear the halibut in a cast iron skillet. Uh, but that's going to come later. I just wanted to share with you what I'm seasoning with and what the menu was, is for today. Along with this, we're also going to have roasted broccolini. I prefer broccolini over um, the um, regular broccoli simply because the stems are smaller, it's a more tender bite, and to me it just has a better taste. I like it, it's one of my favorite vegetables. So, this is, like I said, the halibut, and we'll be back later to show you how I cook this off. See you later. Bye. Hi there. So we're doing broccolini as a vegetable. I think I mentioned that before. Um, yes, I did because I was explaining how I like broccolini better than broccoli. So I just cut off the ends. Put. I'm prepping them um, to go into the oven. I'm not going to put them in the oven just yet. But I wanted you to know that I do. I did find this um, olive oil that I really like, and it's a Mexican lime olive oil. This is not it. Can't find it anymore. For some reason, uh, Whole Food wants to play reindeer games and they don't carry it anymore. So what I decided to do in my little bitty brain <laughs> is to buy Meyer lemon olive oil and chili olive oil and I'm going to mix the two. So I'm going to put both of these on both on uh, both of these platters of broccolini a little bit, you know, not a whole lot, and then season it with salt and pepper um, and then that's going to be roasted. So just to show you what I do here. This is the Meyer lemon, and this is the chili. Just to give it a little bit of kick. Huh, isn't that interesting? Look at there, it doesn't have one of those. So I have to be very careful with this one. Just like this. Okay, and then some on here. A little bit of the chili olive oil on here. And then a little bit of the Meyer lemon. That's going to give it, these really actually have a lot of flavor in them, and that helps to give a nice flavor to the vegetables. So, and then I will bring over the salt. I like putting it in my hands and doing it, not because I think I'm a professional chef, but I can just control it better and I can actually see. It's hard to see when it's coming out of that, um, coming out of the shaker on these things. So I like to just put it in my hands and season. There we go. And if you season it liberally. Don't be afraid to season it and put salt on here because it needs it. There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of, let's put a little bit of the pepper. I'm really into this bourbon smoked pepper now. <laughs> Maybe because, you know, I've never been a drinker, so this is my rebellious way of saying, huh, take that. But at any, <laughs> at any rate, it's wow. bur bourbon smoked <laughs> pepper, and it's really good. We put it on our avocados in the morning for breakfast, and it's just really tasty. So that, and then I just kind of toss it around so that it can all get the seasoning on there. 
So this is how we do it. Montel Jordan. <laughs> Montel. <laughs> he was at our church yesterday. It was pretty cool, actually. Of course, he's saying this is how we do it. Of course, I got my little groove thing on. You know, handling my business. So that's basically it for the um, both of these trays, actually. You just do it. Toss them so that they can be well coated with the seasonings as well as the olive oils. Okay? Here we go. And then I try and put them back in to some type of alignment, child. I don't know. But, <laughs> but it's just good to get them on the tray and make sure they have enough room. I'm going to put some over here so you don't want to crowd them out. You want to make sure that they each that each tray is. There we go. There we go. So that is the seasoning of the broccolini. And we'll be back in a minute to show you, finish up the relish. I have to wash my hands. Bye. Hi again. So this is the relish that I was telling you about that I'm going to put on top of the halibut once that's done. And if Erin can get in here, my camera lady, camera lady, and show, I also cut some um, corn off the cob and put that in there. So what we have in here, we have uh, fresh mango, we have tomatoes, I did um, shallots and red bell pepper and green bell pepper. For the shallots, red bell pepper and green bell pepper, I sauteed those off a little bit just to give them a softness and, and to bring out the sweetness and all of that. And then I diced up the... Um, the uh, mango, I'm sorry, and I, like I said, I cut the corn off the cob, and then of course we put Erica's spicy pickled celery into the mix as well from the farmers, from the farmers market. So that 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 this is what is driving this entire meal. So uh, what I'm also going to do, just to kind of bring it together, mm -hmm. um, I like. As you probably have guessed by now, I like the flavored olive oils. I think that's, it's just a great thing that has been out and on the shelves. There are a plethora of them. So I picked this up as well, orange and rosemary um, extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of that. And like I said, this will help to just bring it together. Um, just to put a couple of tablespoons of that into the mix. And I'm also going to put, we have mango in here into the relish, but I'm going to also put a couple of tablespoons of um, the mango chutney, not the mango chutney, but mango chutney, which I got from the store. My husband got actually, Eric Lashley. Shout out to Eric Lashley. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm putting a couple of scant tablespoons of that in there. And then just going to mix it up. So this is how it's coming together. With the spiciness of the pickle relish, the sweetness of the mango will be really nice. And the mango relish, like I said, just helps to bring it together as well. This is going on top of the fish. And this is going on top of the fish. I'm going to give it a little taste. Tasty. Let me rinse it. Sorry. I didn't get any mango, so I want to taste it again with everything just so I can get a complete taste. So there we go. Mmm. That's really tasty. The only thing that I think it might need is a little bit of, of some herbs. So I'm going to probably dice up some fresh thyme. Um, and put that in here. But that would be the only thing. Um, I'm going to think about it and come back to you. 